Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and very good evening to everyone. Those who are here, those who are in Islamabad, and definitely those who are attending this uh, session on, 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 on the computers. A uh, brief introduction of myself. Uh, as you know, my name is Rana Usman, Rana Muhammad Usman Khan, rather. That is the name which will be appearing in the ballot box. My serial number is 11. Uh, I'm uh, currently serving as council member of this institute. Briefly, I did my articles with the Ford Roads Robson Morrow at that time. I think uh, today it's EY. Uh, then whole of my profession, mostly of my profession, I would say, I have been in practice uh, serving with uh, all types of, let's say, farms, Coopers and Libran first for six years, then uh, Ferguson for 10 years. And in 2012, I joined uh, the current uh, firm, which is Yusuf Adil right now, but it used to be a member firm of Deloitte. So it used to be Deloitte Yusuf Adil as well. Uh, during this span of my post-qualification experience, I have also worked in the industry for some time in the beginning for six months in union leasing as company secretary and manager of finance. And then in middle of my career, actually, I also switched to industry. It was uh, 2010 uh, with a telecom, one of the largest telecom company in this country as uh, executive vice president accounts. So this is a brief uh, professional career. But uh, definitely, I also have a 30 year span of uh, serving this profession right from my studentship, student days. Uh, I started uh, with CASA, CA Students Association North, in 1990 when it was uh, revamped or revived in this region. Alhamdulillah, I got the highest vote at that time as well. Then, uh, soon after qualification, I started working on different committees of ICAP. And the first election after my qualification, uh, that was 1997 and my all seniors, which uh, with whom actually I was working on different committees, they all insisted that I should also uh, join in. So I first contested in 1997 uh, as, as regional committee member and Alhamdulillah, that journey continued for 12 years, three consecutive terms uh, I served on the regional committee. Uh, during that period, one term as a secretary and three terms as chairman and Alhamdulillah, uh, from uh, 2017, I was given this confidence and you all elected me as a council member. And since last four years, I'm working on the council of the Institute. During this tenure of council, actually, uh, Alhamdulillah, I got the opportunity to work all uh, significant committees and forums of this council or this Institute, like the examination committee, the investigation committee, the education and training committee, executive committee, of course, council is there, I'm also working as chairman of digital accounting and assurance board uh, for the last two years, uh, chairman of auditing, and, uh, auditing standards and ethics committee, member of accounting standard board. So this all actually have given me an opportunity to have a deep insight of all segments of my institute, like the education, the examination, the training, the uh, public practice, the standardizations, dealing with, uh, let's say, all regulators. So this all has added to my skill set that I am in a position, alhamdulillah, to say that I have gained a deep insight of all segments of this institute and I am better positioned, inshallah, going forward with this experience to take this further and to add to all these segments. Uh, as far as my contributions during this four year of term is concerned, okay, this four year terms is concerned. I am a strong believer of inclusivity. I don't say I have achieved this individually or I have done this individually. It's all team effort, I would say. It's all team effort. I mean, the team has been there in the past and there has been a team in the last four years. We have worked as team. And as a team member, of course, I have been dealing with different areas like development of new education scheme, rollout of new ethical standards, roll of, of let's say, new technical standards. Uh, as a DAB chairman, you must have seen and witnessed the activity going on for, uh, let's say, learning of our members on digital and technology side for the last two years on data analytics, artificial intelligence, fintech, and alhamdulillah, we have developed a course uh, on data analytics, which is to be launched, uh, I mean, soon, and that is to be followed with fintech. So these all activities, of course, I, as a member, have contributed, and then the council as a team have taken that decision 
And I'm proud that I've been part of that team. Those who have taken initiatives, they work together without any, I mean, I, I treat all this as a bouquet, basically. I mean, we have segments, we have regions, north, south, we have different cities, we have segments of our profession, SMPs, large firms, we have industry, but all this together, overseas members, this all is a bouquet, basically. Alone, we are nothing. If we are together, we are beautiful. So, I mean, this is my approach. This has been my approach for the last 30 years. And inshallah, I promise that this approach will continue going forward. As far as key challenges are concerned, I think a lot has been talked about by uh, many of our candidates. But I feel the key areas, if I take them key areas, the disruptive technologies, basically, they have changed the business models of our clients, our employers. So they require change in our curriculum as well. So we have to equip ourselves with the latest technologies. And that is the reflection that during the last four years, we have done, we have tried to introduce a new education, education scheme, which has those contents, redundant contents have been taken away, new contents have been added. And inshallah, if we roll it out, future child accountants are expected to be reasonably equipped with the new technologies. Regulators, of course, they, they I mean, uh, raising their, their areas. They are, I mean, enhancing their activities. We are also regulators, but we also have to live with them. A respectful coexistence, of course, we are striving for that. I have been part of the, all those task forces dealing with AOB, SACP. We are in negotiation with them, discussion with them. And I'm quite hopeful that with the teamwork, we will be managing our respectable position and maintaining it. Then, of course, the overseas membership, it's, it's a large number. Uh, we have opened chapters. We have set up different chapters there. Through that, actually, we are catering their requirements. But of course, their participation is needed. And we have to enhance our, let's say, support to them. It may be financial. It may be technical. So that whenever and wherever they are, they have to represent ICAP and they have to gain their name, basically. With all this, actually, uh, if I see the way forward, in next term, at least, I mean, it's, it's a continuous process. Since 1961, people have been leading this institution, and I'm thankful to them. It's a relay race, basically. They have completed their part, and they have handed over baton to us. And Alhamdulillah, we are middle of it. And if given opportunity once again, we'll do whatever we can do in the next four years term. And we want and we wish to respectably, gracefully give that button back to the people, those who are coming behind us. And then of course, we will be here to serve the Institute afterwards as well. In my view, the next four years are going to be challenging. First, of course, at most important challenge is rolling out of the scheme because we have done that. I've been working on that education scheme for four years. I think that going for it's open for comments. Everybody is open to give comments. If something is missing, we are open to let's say modify it. But definitely, we aim to roll it out, implement, so that within next term, people should start implementing it, adopting it, and qualifying with this new education scheme. Uh, recently, there has been a big change in quality standards for the practicing firms. We have been using ISQC1, ISA 2220, and this, I mean, all has been embedded in our QCR program, but all has been changed. There has been a paradigm shift, I would say. The target date of compliance is 15 December 2020, uh, 22, and we all have to work for that. And definitely the council, the Auditing Standards Ethics Committee will have this biggest challenge in the coming period. So they, they should be implemented, rolled out, and all questions of the regulators and stakeholders on our quality of audit and quality of profession, uh, profession should be answered, inshallah. Equipment or equipping our current members through technologies, DAB, inshallah, is going to enhance its role. As I said, the data analytics course is there. FinTech is next, and definitely there are more courses to come in so that our CFOs, those who are in the industry, should be kept with the technologies. With all this, I feel that if we work as a team, we elect those people who are gelled into, those do not create segments and let's say partitions with the profession. They work for unity of the profession. Together, inshallah, we will sustain, we will achieve our objectives, and we will retain our status, retain our respect in the society. If we divide ourselves, we start fighting with each other, definitely we are 
not going to be anywhere. So I promise this with all my experience and history, decency, continuity, dedication and commitment to serve this profession and request you for the vote. Thank you very much.